Some interesting tobacco showed up on my doorstep today. And also, a gathering. So first up, The Gathering. The Gathering. Sounds like a horror movie. Um, first up, The Gathering. It's actually going to be a pipe meetup with uh, Mr. Eric Rana, the Road King Piper. We're going to be meeting up in Dripping Springs, Texas. When? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're going to be meeting up at a place called Smokey's Cigar Lounge on Sunday at 2 p.m. in Dripping Springs, Texas. Now, you may have never heard of Dripping Springs, Texas. And that's okay. Maybe you've heard of some of the things that have come out of Dripping Springs, Texas, like, I don't know, Roglide Soli, Deep Eddie's Vodka, Dripping Springs Vodka. Is that a pattern? Might be. So we're meeting up in a, a place called Smokey's Cigar Lounge. It's a fairly new cigar lounge here in the drip, as we call it. And it is located at 31560 Ranch Road 12, which is just outside of uh, Dripping Springs, which is also just outside of Austin. Um, we're gonna be meeting up. We've kind of gone back and forth. We figured out uh, through a number of uh, communications back and forth and because of the YTPC map, that's right, the YTPC has a map. Where can you find that map, Road Glide? Well, you can find that map at ytpc.roadglidesully.com. Don't know why I'm writing it, but I am. Again, that's ytpc.roadglidesully.com. That's dub dub dub. Uh, it's a Google map. And a whole bunch of folks, a slew of folks in the YTPC have provided us with their locations, a lot of email addresses, and it's a great tool if you're traveling or you're thinking about going some different place or you just want to know, are there other YTPC members in uh, my location? Um, and we're right next to each other. He's in just outside of San Antonio. I'm just outside of Austin. Um, and I would also note, if you are a what's called a lurker um, or somebody that just watches videos and you don't present feel free to put your name on that map because the whole purpose of that map is to bring folks together and give this community an opportunity to smoke a pipe together or as I like to say break bread together but we've been kind of going back and forth and realized we were that close together and there's no sense in us not getting together for a pipe so um, here in a couple of days right now it's friday night actually <laughs> it's saturday morning uh, it's very late 1 30 1 30 in the morning my boy had a baseball game and i didn't get home until late and i'll be darned if i'm not gonna smoke a pipe um so uh that meetup is going to be Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. at 2 p.m um at Smokey's Cigar Lounge. So uh, just wanted to make sure that y'all know about that and that y'all know about the YTPC map because there's no reason why you shouldn't know about the YTPC map. And whether you're a presenter or a lurker, I don't care. Um, put your name out on that map. Who knows, you might uh, make a new friend. You might have an opportunity to go exchange some tobaccos and um, worst case, you get to smoke a pipe. That doesn't suck, except when it's not lit. So what am I smoking? Well, obviously I'm smoking a 320 because that's the official pipe of the YTPC. Um, this is a 320 Savinelli Trevi, I believe. Love this pipe. And in it, I am smoking some capstan. 
this is the first time I've ever tried Capstan. And it's one of those tobaccos that's been in my shopping cart many times. I had to tamp. It's been in my shopping cart many times and it's always one of those that kind of falls by the wayside. I don't know why. I got nothing against it. It's a good smoke. But it's just never been on the order until recently. So I had a buddy of mine. I know I have buddies. It's hard to believe. Um, a buddy of mine sent me a text and he said, man, you're never gonna believe this. He said, I was on the phone. He's old school. He said, I was on the phone with smokingpipes.com. Now my first thought was, you're on the phone with smokingpipes.com. My second thought was, well, that's my buddy. I kind of figured. He was telling me that he got a little bit of a tip from them. And that tip was, is that they were selling Capstan. Capstan, this is uh, the, what's it called? Gold Navy Cut. Their names are kind of confusing because they all kind of look the same, but um, you got to read this little part right here. Um, this is Gold Navy Cut, ready rubbed. Not the flake, ready rubbed. That's important. And you're going to understand why it's important in just a second. Um, he sent me this text and he goes, you're never going to believe what I got in the mail. He goes, I got some capstan. I'm like, oh, whoop-dee-doo. You got some capstan. Uh, and then I realized uh, that I wasn't looking at the second picture that he sent. And that second picture was the back of the tin. And why is that so interesting? Because if you look real close, Mac Barron, in this case, is the one that makes capstan. And it's distributed and imported, it's actually imported and distributed by Sutliff Tobacco Company. And on the back, they put the date stamp. And that date stamp, you probably can't read it. I could try to focus it, but I don't want to make anybody drink. Um, it is April of 2013. So they show up brand new, six years old. That doesn't suck, folks. Six-year-old, brand-new tobacco. So I decided that, yep, I probably need to order some. So I ordered several tins, uh, and I want to crack one right now. Oh, wait. I already cracked it. Well, maybe I already videoed me cracking the tin, you know, just in case. Check it out. All right, so here is the tin. And I'm gonna see if I can't open this on camera for you guys. All right, let's see if we can hear this. Oh yeah, that was a nice little vacuum. year old tobacco. All right, well you can already see there's a nice little yellow ring right here. That's usually a good sign when it makes it all the way up to here. six-year-old capstan. That's a six-year-old tin of capstan, which I kind of find amazing. I don't know why. It's just weird. Like, what happened to it? Did it get lost in the shelves? But they've got a bunch of this stuff. And if you act fast, and I mean fast, because this was like four days ago, I already got it here, and that was after he received his. So it's been on the shelves there at smokingpipes.com for a while. But if you act fast, you might be able to pick up a couple of tens of this. Um, it's a little pricey for a 10. It's like 
almost 15 bucks, 14 something. It's a little higher than normal, but I mean, it's a lot cheaper than buying it on eBay with six years. Um, so check it out. So that's all I got. Maybe I'm gonna do a review eventually, but um, it's actually, so far, it's really good. Um, not what I expected from looking at the description. It, there's no tin description, but I looked it up on uh, tobacco reviews and read a couple of the reviews just to kind of get an idea after I lit it up of what I was tasting. Um, and the reviews are nothing like what I'm tasting. Um, so I'm it's supposed to be a fruit or a citrus topping on it, and I'm not getting really any of that. I'm getting almost what I would perceive to be a straight Virginia with no topping on it. So I'm digging it. And if you act fast, you can dig it too. So anyway, don't forget, if you're in the area, if you're a presenter in the area, and by the area I mean Austin, Dripping Springs, if you're in the area, come meet up with Mr. Rana and I, and that would be on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. at 2 p.m. That's Central Standard Time, if you know you're coming from like far out of town. Um, but we're gonna be meeting up, uh, smoking a pipe together. Who knows, we might do a video or two um, and uh, take you guys along for the ride. We'll see. You know, maybe it's, maybe it's just gonna be the two of us. Maybe if you want to see, you gotta show up. So if you're a viewer and you just wanna come hang out and smoke a pipe and you're in the area, feel free to stop by Sunday at 2 p.m. at Old, it's not Old Smokies, it's Smokies Cigar Lounge uh, near Drip. Look it up on Google um, or rewind. The address is back there. Um, and uh, come hang out with us. You'll probably be able to find us. It's not a very large place, but if for some reason um, you walk in and there's a lot of people there, we're probably going to be the two guys sitting, smoking our pipes with our phones held up like this, videotaping ourselves. Because, you know, we're YTPC presenters and that's what we do. So anyway, that's all I got for tonight or this morning. Either way, keep the rubber side down. I'm real glad solely.